Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I'm going to explain and demo change data capture event in Salesforce. And I'm going to show you how we can subscribe and process change data capture event in Mule application. Change data capture CDC is a process in Salesforce that tracks the changes in the data in Salesforce entities. Salesforce generate an event notification when Salesforce identify that data has been created, updated, deleted or undeleted. External system can subscribe to this CDC event and they can get this data in near real time and they can process this data. To process the CDC event data in Mule application, we need to subscribe the CDC event channel. We can subscribe this CDC event channel either using relay channel listener or using subscribe channel listener. For CDC demo, I will switch to any point studio now. I will create a new Mule project. File new Mule project. I will give the name CDC. Salesforce. I will click finish. Now I will add Salesforce connected to the project. I will click add module. And I will drag Salesforce to here. I will keep this version 10.13.3. Click add. Salesforce connector has been added to the project. In your case, if you do not find Salesforce connector in the palette, you might need to import it from the exchange. I have already created a video on how to import a module from exchange. You can watch that video. I will provide the link in description. Now I will drag subscribe channel listener to the canvas. I will add connector configuration. Click plus sign. Here we need to provide the authentication mechanism to connect to Salesforce. And these are the options to connect to Salesforce. In this video, I will keep the authentication approach to basic authentication. Basic authentication require username, password, and security token. To get the username, password, and security token, we need to create a developer account in Salesforce. We can create a developer account in Salesforce using this link. I have already created a developer account and I got the username, security token and password. I will use this username. Go back to studio. Copy it here. Now I will copy security token. Now I will enter password. Click OK. Now I will go to the Salesforce to set up the CDC event notification. I will log into the Salesforce. I will click username, enter my password. Click login. I will go to the integration section. Now click change data capture. Here we can specify which all entity we want the CTC event notification. I want event notification for account entity. So I will select account 
and move to the right side. I will click save. Now any change happened to the account entity, create, update, delete or undelete. All the client who will subscribe to the account CTC event notification will get the generated change event notification from Salesforce. Now I will go back to studio. Click subscribe channel listener. I will refresh the streaming channel. The studio is fetching the all the streaming channel from Salesforce. To get the CTC event notification from Salesforce for account entity, I will select slash data slash account change event streaming channel. Now I will drag transform message component. I will change the CTC event payload to JSON. Now I will drag logger component to the flow. And I will log the event payload. In real scenario, we might need to send this event data to the data lag or the database. But for our demo purpose, I will log this to the console. Now I will save the project. Right click, run project. Okay, project has been deployed. We have subscribed to the channel slash data slash account change event. Now I will go back to Salesforce and I will create and update few account records. I will go to service. I will click account. We have a record here. I will update the record with the account name Mike. I will change the name from Mike to Mike Waller. I will change the phone number to 9988775555. I will change the account site to new site. Now I will save it. Before saving it, let me show you the console. We don't have any notification so far. I will clear the console. Now go back to Salesforce. Now I will save it. Once I save it, we will get a notification. Okay, we got the notification. This is the payload. Site is new site, that's what we entered. This is the last modified date. The name we changed from Mike to Mike Waller. Phone number we changed to 9988-7755. And these are the fields that got changed and change type is update. And this is the replay ID. Now let me add one new record in account entity. So I will click new. I will give the name John. 
I will give the phone number 9900770099. Account number 1205. Billing City, Mumbai. Willing state MA Okay, now I will save it Before saving it, let me go to the studio I will clear this event Now we have cleared the console Now go back to Salesforce I will click save Go back to studio, we got the new notification. Name John, billing address state MA, city Mumbai, phone number, account number 1205, and change type is create. And this is a record ID. And here is a replay ID. You can also subscribe the channel using a replay channel listener. So now I will add the replay channel listener. First I will remove this subscribe channel listener. Now I will drag the replay channel listener. Here I will keep the connector configuration same. I will select the streaming channel slash data slash account change event. We need to select replay option. Here are replay option we need to select all means. So we will get all the events that Salesforce generated for account entity in last 24 hour. From replay ID that means we will get all the TTC event notification from Salesforce on account entity starting from a specific replay ID and only new means we will only get new event that Salesforce will generate after replay channel has been subscribed the channel from last replay ID means whatever ID Salesforce connector has processed we will get all the replay ID after the processed replay ID. So suppose we have processed replay ID 100, we will get all the replay ID after 100. So we'll get 101, 102 like that. For this demo, I will select only new. So we'll get only new CDC event notification. I will click save. Application will be redeployed. Replay channel listener has subscribed slash data slash account change event. I will clear the console. I will go to Salesforce. Go to the account. Now I will modify this record with the account name John. I will change John to John Miller. Site East Site. Click Save. We will go to the studio console. We got the notification. This is the payload. East site. Name John Miller. And change type is update. Entity is account. And these are the fields that we changed. 
and this is a replay ID. Let me add a new account record. Click new. I will give the name Rachel. Account number 2390. Phone number 1122889900. I will give city Pune, state MA, zip code 230083008. I will go to the studio, clear the console, go back to Salesforce. Now I will save it. So we got the new record here. Rachel, this is the phone number. Now I will go to the studio. We got the new notification. Name Rachel and we gave billing address, state MA, postal code, city Pune, and entity name is account. Change tab is create. And this is the replay ID. So this is how you can subscribe to the CDC change event notifications from Salesforce. We can either use subscribe channel listener or we can use replay channel listener. And you can process the event. You can send this event data to the data lag or database. Here in our demo, we log that event to the console. But in the real scenario, we might need to save to the database or we might need to send to the data lake. And we can save that to the either data lake or database depending on the requirement in near real time. This is all in this video. I hope you understood how we can subscribe to the CDC change event notification and we can process the Salesforce data in near real time. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.